Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Ron1014, and we are rocking DDO episode 4, stopping the Sawagan on my Dwarf Barbarian on server Kenneth. And I want to say thanks for the great, great responses I'm getting for uh, the first three episodes. Uh, you guys are really uh, giving me a lot of support, and I really appreciate it, and uh, it's really driving me to continue doing this. So I did pick up two more levels on my Barbarian. He's now sitting at level 3, and I uh, went with Power Attack as my uh, new feat. And, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to go through and do this gameplay real quick for you and show you stopping the Sawagan and let you know I did get plenty of responses for folks that were interested in doing these videos with me. I'm really excited about that. I'm stoked. And uh, hopefully this weekend I can get with you guys and get out of plan. So, see here, Barbarian, it's going to be very straightforward. It's going to be very melee destruction going on. I mean... <laughs> And uh, there's ice method there. This next thing's kind of annoying. But uh, go around and get all these barrels because you know what? We covered it in the past videos. We want that extra XP, and those barrels help us with that XP. So, um, a couple things I want to talk about. Hey, let me know what's going on with these uh, druids, guys. I don't have it unlocked yet. I did see now they are purchasable, so I might save up some favor points since I am a free to play guy and grab one of them up so I can do some gameplays with those as well. And uh, I'm pretty stoked. I've been seeing them everywhere. Like, literally, everywhere. Um, I don't get in the game as much as uh, I'd like to, obviously, with the two different series I do. But uh, I I've been seeing them when I am on there, plenty. And they look pretty cool. You get a little wolf guy running around with you. And they, I guess you can change uh, shapes and all that kind of crazy stuff. I haven't partnered up with one yet. I kind of look forward to that. So I can actually see them in action. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, like I said, we covered the new UI. I'm still in love with it. I love everything about it. It looks very nice. It uh, seems to me smaller. And... Uh, and yeah, uh, if you're new to DDO or, you know, you've just been following my videos debating, hey, shoo, should I pick this game up? Should I do it? Dude, it's free, okay? You don't have to pay anything. And you can unlock anything. Free. Okay? So, I mean, why wouldn't you play it? It's an amazing MMO, okay? And it's very different from anything else out there. The the combat system to it, the... The ideas behind it, the the dungeons, the storylines, it's it's all great stuff, folks. And if you, if you haven't played it, I, at least try it because it's awesome. It's got a very large player base throughout all the servers. Some are bigger than others, yes. I'm playing on a small server while I do these videos, but I still got plenty of people. If I want a group, I could potentially group any time, pretty much. And if not, you can start your own parties, and and you'll you'll get people. So it, it's a great game, guys, and and I and I challenge you to try it out. But uh, anyway, going on with these uh, future series, all right, with, with uh, folks coming in, helping me out, doing some so you guys can see party play and, uh, you know, get some other commentators in here because I'm all about sharing the wealth here, folks. And I, wa I want, you know, the, if we're going to be presenting Dungeons & Dragons Online as the great MMO that it is, I want it to be done great, okay? So, uh, any ideas you guys have for future videos, want to see. Now, keep in mind, higher level content, okay? I don't have anything there right now. That's why I'm leveling these guys up and showing you guys the route. I know some of you experienced players are probably so sick of seeing these dungeons or doing these dungeons from favor grinds and stuff, but you will see the higher level stuff as we go, all right? And, uh, and I'll be unlocking some packs as we go and such as well. So, Look forward to it, all right? We're going to get there, and I'm not giving up on this series. I will never give up on this series, all right? I love this game, and until something t tells me otherwise that I shouldn't love this game, you know, I log on, I'm just like, fuck, I don't want to do this anymore, which isn't any going to be anytime soon, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, talking about Barbarians. This is actually my first Barbarian I ever played. I usually play a Bard, you know, uh, either Bard or a uh, uh, Healer. So it's actually I'm having a lot of fun with him. He, little little dwarf dude, man. He, he's wrecking stuff. I'm used to going in, having the crowd control stuff. Then I pick him off one at a time. This guy, man, I don't even care. Like I just go in there and like hit me, hit me if you dare, man. If you hit me, all you're doing is ticking me off. <laughs> so they're real fun to play. I'm having fun just you know wrecking face with these guys, and uh, so I'm looking forward to progressing this guy. And I've always heard, you know, hey, barbarians make great first characters because they are so damage oriented. They're kind of easy to use, and they do just a ton of flipping damage. So, uh, and I'm I'm seeing that. And granted, I'm only level three, but hell, I mean, I'm having fun doing it as quick as level threes I've ever done. So, <laughs> hey, shoo, you know, it's just level three, man. Hey, 
All right, don't judge me. All right, I, I, I am proud of my level three right now, even though I can make him at level seven anytime I wanted. <laughs> Because I, I have Veteran 2 unlocked, but I wanted to show you, you know, if you're new, I wanted to show you everything, okay? So here, hey, you got another puzzle. I think we covered this in Episode 1. This is a little bit different puzzle. You had to shut off those freezing things there. On the other side, there's this creature guy over there on the left uh, that you can't see who's freezing up the building. So we're trying, we're going to move these around and freeze him. So I love these puzzles. They're real fun to do. I mean, these ones are pretty basic. But surprisingly, this one gives a lot of people difficulties when they first start out. But uh, they're real fun to do. I, I like anything that, you know, makes me think about stuff. So, But anyway, this is going to be closing out. I'm showing you the XP charts. Hey, I got some XP for uh, killing things, and I got some XP for uh, knocking out some barrels. Right here, actually, I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, maybe I can get a little more XP. I don't know if these guys kind of barrels, but let's blow them up anyway. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah so I hope you guys are looking forward to episode 5 I hope you guys are uh, will give me some feedback let me know what you want to see because I'm, I'm really guys I'm sincerely having a lot of fun doing this I love I love being on YouTube I can't I can't express it. I love making these videos so if you guys enjoyed this you want to see Shu do more then please give me a like favorite if you haven't already press that subscribe button i hope to see you back on my channel next time until then take care god bless and have a good one